Hi, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how you're going to use VTAX to automate live events. I got a couple of emails asking about how to start and stop recording in VTAX. When you download the template and extract the files, you get these files in the folder. First off, I'm going to load the VMix project. Let's go to open and I'm going to go and get that one. So basically, I set up some inputs that I'll be using in the template in VTAX. So I've got a blank page here and I've got a logo that's going to be displayed on the side and I've got this live text that's going to show at the upper right and I've also got a timer this timer has been set to 10 seconds it's going to start from 10 and count down and then I've got a caller that has some text that will be calling at the bottom and then I've got message this is what I'm going to be using to display messages that I want to display onto the screen and then I've got a name tag here and then I've got a camera these are the only setup that I've done in vmix so on the vtax side I'm going to load the template event.task the first thing we have is standby in that program I have set to clear all the graphics on the screen if there's any and I'm using overlay input all up and then we refer into a vmix input so I'm using the vmix input here to get the blanks I put the same name that's corresponding to the blank here so that's what I'm referring to so I'm getting that and then I'm setting a message please stand by and that's what's gonna be set to this message it's gonna change it to please stand by after doing that I'm gonna show it on the screen so it's gonna show on overlay input input 4 so that's what the standby is doing so after that you have access to start streaming or start recording so I deactivated it because I'm doing a recording at the same time and it's not a strong laptop that I'm using but you can enable either one of them or both of them so after that I'm delaying five seconds here because I want the standby message to stay on the screen five seconds I just use a VMOX input then I change the duration to five seconds here and then I just change the title for clarity. Since this name does not correspond with any name in VMix, we should be good. Then we can go to the first break. In the break, simple. I'm also clearing all the graphics on the screen again and setting the message to break one. Then I want to show that message onto the screen. Then I'm going to delay again two seconds for that message to stay there for. And then I'm going to hide that message again. So the way I'm doing it is because I'm showing the message we just activated in the overlay in before. So if I activate it again on the same overlay, input 4 it's just going to take it off it's just same as clicking here and clicking it again I just titled it hide message to make it readable then here I put it here so you can add your media so basically when you select this one you can now add any video you want to play but I'll come back to that so moving on after the break we go for a live feed in the live feed I got a bunch of commands here basically I'm clearing the graphics on the screen and I'm showing the countdown and I'm gonna start it so when I start it it's gonna count down from 10 to 0 and then I'm gonna show a blank screen whilst I'm counting down then I'm gonna set the message again to start in live feed then I'm gonna show that message onto the screen and then I'm gonna show a logo onto the left then I'm gonna set a title the first selected index that's the first line to host then I'm gonna set the second line that's index 1 to my name and then I'm gonna delay for two seconds the reason why i'm delaying two seconds here is when the countdown is over we want to show the camera so check the timing from where i started showing the countdown you see that everything is one second command so if i show the timer here and i count two three four five six seven seconds eight seconds that means we're not up to 10 seconds yes that's why i added two seconds to delay here we hide that message and then we show the camera then i'm gonna hide the timer because i don't want to obviously see it on the on the light feed instead i'm gonna show this light right here then I'm gonna show the crawler and then I'm gonna show the name tag then delay for five seconds and hide the name tag that's it for the light feed I'm gonna delay for 20 seconds after the light feed this delay is the amount of time you want the light feed to stay on for and we go to the second break and it's the same as the first one so you're gonna select here and add your media files to it and we move on to light feed again it's, just, it's the same copy of the first one because we want to obviously repeat whatever happened before so what I did to get a copy was very simple just duplicate it when I duplicate it then it creates another file I don't want to use duplicate files you can rename that to the same name but that way they will all refer to the same file but now when I go here see that they have the same content if I delete this one right now it's gonna affect the rest of the feed before I delete it I would just want to add some name to it because I didn't really need it then when I add this name to it save my project then I can safely delete this one that way it's not gonna affect the content of the original one we delete for another 20 seconds then I'm going to show the end credit. In the end credit, I set the message, clear graphics, and then I show the message. Whatever video you want to play, you play it after that. So that's it. And finally, we can stop streaming or stop recording. Before I run it, there's a few things that I need to do. First of all, I need to add my commercial to it. So I'm going to go to the commercial break, select that. 
I'm going to add media. I think I've got some file here that I can use. So first commercial, I'm going to choose this file. So I just want it to play for only 10 seconds and that's done. I can close it. Let's go into the second break and let's go and choose a different file. This time I'm going to choose this one. And again, don't want you to sit there watching the whole thing. So it's four minutes something. So I'm going to make it zero, zero, 10 seconds as well. So we don't have, I don't have a camera right now. I do have a camera. Let me try if it will work. Just going to try to bring my webcam if it's going to work. If it doesn't, tough luck. Instead, I'm going to bring a sample input camera here. I'm just going to bring it in here. And if we want to use this as our camera, simply we're just going to name it the same way, capitalize camera, and we can then delete this one. So this is going to be our camera now. So for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this into action. So I'm just going to click start. First of all, I'm just connect to Phoenix. Start read time and let's see the show so we're gonna start off by displaying a standby message and watch me i'm not gonna click anything okay please stand by so what's next delay for five seconds and we're gonna go first break you should see a text that says break one correct now we just want to see the break seconds of that break you need to go to the light feed so you can see the countdown started at the corner and then you get the logo there it's starting in light feed and after 10 seconds we get a light feed camera showing up on the screen the live message over there we get the host name we've got a crawler going on and then the name goes up so we we'll wait for 20 seconds and we're gonna go to the second break So here you can be talking blah blah blah. If my camera was on, I'll be doing a show for you, but sorry. So it's about 20 seconds now, so we go to the second break. Break two is what it says. So on the break two to 10 seconds, we go back to the light feed again. So we should get a countdown now. Yeah. Counting down to 10 seconds. Starting live feed, place the logo. So you can tell where you are. It's really somewhere around here. So live feed again for 20 seconds. And then we will move on to the end credit. So we're delaying for 20 seconds right now. So you can see we're delaying for 20 seconds. Then we'll move on to the end credit. After 20 seconds, that should be up. Sweet. Then we'll move on to the end credit. Thanks for watching. Live. This is set to auto, so it's just going to run through the pro program. But you can also open another instance of VTask whilst this is running. You can open another instance of VTask and load the event commands. What I did that for was if you want to go in at any point in time to show whatever you want to show, even though that one is running in the background, you can still interrupt the show by loading, um, if, you, if I go there, if I load the uh, event CMDs, it's basically all the commands that I use to arrange that show. So for instance, I could come in here and say the name tag, what's the name tag? I can show the name tag again. So if I connect to it and I start it, is set to shadow mode because I don't want to automatically run through all the commands so I set it to shadow mode so it's not gonna do anything and then I can double click here to show the name tag and it's gonna show it and if I double click again it will just take it off so that's how you can go in on your live program for instance you want to show the camera you can double click and then it's gonna show the camera you can take it off you can show blank you take it so you can go in you can show the live message or you can show the logo you can do multiple things at the same time yeah showing the logo you can add up to it you can also at the same time showing the logo you want to show the crawler you can add it up to show the crawler to crawl at the bottom you can add things up and of course you can clear all the graphics as well so that's up to you 
So remember this is set to set shadow mode and set to that so you can go into to command it anytime you want in the background in the meantime because this is still running in the background sorry about that this can be still your program can be still running in the background and then you'll be going live show so sometimes you don't really want to do it this way you can also set your commands in one instance of the task and then you can be double clicking it like you would do in the mix but this way i think it's more straightforward and you can title them and you know what you're doing so thanks for watching and more templates coming your way so you can download this template you can find it on 